I'm tired. If my legs shaking could make a sound, they would sound like this. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, good morning everyone. So, oof, dark. Like I said in yesterday's video, um, I am working out in the mornings now before I start editing the video. Pretty hungry right now, so I decided to, you know, get fancy with my breakfast and I'm about to heat up a weenie, as you can see there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't judge me. I just <laughs> roll up the weenie in the paper towel and then put the paper towel and the weenie in the microwave and it heats up. And then I put the weenie in the bread. So normally you can eat the weenie with bread cold, but I feel like being kind of fancy right now. <laughs> I feel like feeling like I cooked breakfast, so by that I mean heating up a cold weenie. That's going to be my breakfast before I work out today. Alright, lunch time on this two day week, week, week. Week, that's right, you heard me. I'm only working a two day week, week, week. Anyway, yeah, so pretty much I'm just waiting on for this mustache march celebration to begin. Uh, if you aren't in the military, mustache march, mustache march is where all the male military members and female if they want uh, grows out their mustaches for the entire month of March. So, then I'm out. What is that? Mm. Ah. Bleh, bleh. Bleh, bleh, bleh. We don't have any more bread. Come to find out that we don't have any bread. Not any normal bread anyway. So now I'm going to eat a hot dog weenie with a hamburger bun bread. Oh, hot. Hmm. I mean, bread is bread, right? Anyway, as I was saying, so all military members uh, pretty much grow their mustaches out for the entire month of March. And we have different categories like uh, most full mustache. Uh, we have the most the creepy stalker mustache uh, category. And we have the uh, Justin Bieber award pretty much for those who can't grow like me. I know this looks kind of full and everything, but this is actually about three months of work right here. I'm probably gonna just let this grow out for the whole year and just see what my, what more I can get. I think this is about it though. So three months, and not really any change. So <sighs> don't worry, there's nobody in here. See, no one in here. <laughs> Woo! I love sweating. Sweating feels amazing. You like my Ninja Turtle workout shirt? Uh, helps me feel strong. Okay, I just finished my um, uh, warm up, so now I'm gonna go and lift weights. Today's leg day, so I'm gonna hit up them deadlifts, Ooh, squats. I'm sweating. Whew. All right, let's do this. Yeah. JMD, I'm, I'm sorry I forgot to uh, comment to your comment, reply to you asking what I did in the military. I was trying to find a video where you asked that and I couldn't find it. So, but uh, I'm in IT. I've been doing that for four years now. So, I'm that guy you call when their computer was breaking. Like if you have cable like Time Warner, you know something's not working. I'm the guy that you would call who has absolutely no idea what's going on and try to fake it till you make it. But the only flip side is I actually know what I'm doing. And I'm pretty darn good at my job. Woo! Out of the gym. Got a good leg day workout in. It was weird. The fire alarm kept going off. But, it, like, it, the lights were flashing like, beep, beep. And then this, like, automated voice came on. The fire alarm has been activated or something like that. It was just like, fire alarm. Hmm. <sighs> 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 just kept pumping away. <laughs> it's like, man, if this... It was a drill though, it wasn't anything real. And it went off like five times though, but I'm like man, if this would have been a real fire alarm, everyone would have just died. Look at this glorious mustache.
My nose are clean. You get out of there. There's no go to be dug up today. But I won't fall. I am titanium. Me down. But I won't fall. I am titanium. Oh. Man, if you guys said, whoa, Josh, you just look like a black guy who just played ultimate football in 90 degree weather, weather, then you'd be right. My eyes are all red from the sweat getting in there. Jeez. Oh, but, oh yeah, you know we won. We had to do it, right? I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I am extremely competitive. I mean, highly competitive. I'm playing with a whole bunch of IT computer guys who don't really play any kind of sports whatsoever. And I was just like, come on! There's no I in team! We gotta work together! So, I had to go there and carry the team on my shoulders to get that W. But man, you guys just seen that field. I mean, there was poop the size, literally like this size. Like the side of my freaking face. It was all over the field. I was like, what manner of beast could have laid these down? And how is it still alive? That's gotta be like its entire insides. So we were pretty much playing around a manure minefield. Run away from that, but I'm so hot and my nose is starting to run now. I'm just a mess right now. You gotta love daily vlogging. This is the only place you're gonna see this, right? Or maybe you just gotta watch our stuff. This is the only place you'll see me and Emma. You know what I just realized? I realized actually, well, when I smelled myself. <laughs> and I forgot to put deodorant on before I went to the gym. Oh, goodness. Emma, Emma. I was in a hurry. Ow, I was in a hurry. And then I started running. And then I was like, golly, somebody should put on deodorant. And then I realized that it was me. And that's what happens when you're Emma. <laughs> <sighs> Can't even already talk. I hate it when you like work out or play really hard and then you're like, I still gotta drive. How am I gonna do this? And it's in the standard too, so. I got. Uh, I'm tired. If my legs shaking could make a sound, they would sound like this. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, I don't even know if that makes sense. That makes sense. It makes sense to me. <laughs> In other words, my legs are shaking because they're tired. Bulletproof! Ah, shoot me down, but I won't fall. I am titanium. <laughs> Yes, Barney, I see you. <laughs> Always have to be right up in my business. Always have to be right there. It's almost uh, 6 o'clock, and Josh came home, and then he went to the store. So that's where he's at. He's at the store right now, um, taking care of some stuff. But we are doing our live stream today at... 6.30 is where we're going to like set everything up and then it's supposed to start at 7. So I'm just getting ready. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting ready for a date or something. I'm like, oh, got to pleasure my hair. got to do my makeup. No, I'm not trying to get that fancy, but, you know, I can't be looking all hobo-ish. So <laughs> um, I did take a shower and everything. Trying to at least smell clean for you guys. Feel happy about that. You should feel special. I took a shower for you. I'm just waiting for Josh to come back, and that way we're going to do this thing. I'm excited. Uh, it should be fun. I've never done anything. I haven't done a live stream yet. We want to do another one, hopefully, soon. I just... Would y'all watch if we did a live stream, like us and me and Josh? I mean, if one person is there, that's cool. <laughs> it would be like, party! Answer... Ask me a question. Ask me a question. I'll answer any question. It'll just be the same person over and over, so it'll be cool. But 
I mean, if two people showed up, well, then it's a real party, so. I don't know. Would y'all show up if we did a live stream? Because we're definitely thinking about doing one. Maybe we'll do it when we hit 300 subscribers. We're almost... We're at 250, almost at 250, so share away, share our video, remember? Don't forget about that. That helps us out and makes us happy. And I know you like to make us happy. <laughs> Excuse me. See? <laughs> Why wouldn't you want to share that? Come on now. <laughs> I don't need cameras. Okay. It's recording now. Say hi. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're vlogging right now. We're doing a live stream. And y'all are uh, going to be in our video. So, hey and hey. <laughs> and hey back again. And I'm going to, I'm going to link their channels down below in the description box. So that way you can find them. She's in Australia. Which Australia. is. Australia. Yeah. Not Texas. <laughs> no one says that, by the way. Just <laughs> what? what? Good day. No one says that. <laughs> no one says good day. <laughs> oh, like everybody thinks y'all say good day. Oh, like good day, mate. Like that. <laughs> good day, mate. <laughs> so Aww. I'm pretty sure that would be like racist if we just go like good day, That's mate. Not racist. Well, not racist. Uh, stereotypical. That's yeah. the word I was looking for. Stereotypical. <laughs> good day, mate. That vlog a good night. Bama chick. He uh he. Tweeted to all of us. <laughs> oh, he did. I didn't see that. Uh, sorry, y'all. We've been. Oh, I see. Been... Oh, so he's watching. That's so cool. Oh, that's nice. Hey, Bama chick. Yeah, hey. Bama chick. <laughs> so we're at the end of our our, of our live stream here. We're saying bye, bye to our new friends. Bye, bye, new friends. Bye, new friends. <laughs> I like new friends. Yeah. New friends are fun. <laughs> yeah, vlog exception. <laughs> so it's guy love. That's all it is. It's vlog love. It's vlog love. That <laughs> Let's sing our song again. Ready? Alright. It's, it's vlog love. love. That's all it is. Recording. Vlog oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> you can change the words. A little bit. Vlog love. That's all, all it is. is. Vlog love. love. It's mine, I'm his. No, I don't know. <laughs> There's well, we'll nothing that. weird about it in, in our, our eyes. eyes. You take this camera and focus too. And then it... Then you realize... It's vlog love. We're, we're, we're better. We're better at <laughs> prompt to singing. But I don't know. I think we just got all of that out of the live stream. <laughs> so we just got out of the live stream with Lauren and James. And so I will link both of their channels below like I said earlier. And I also do want to give a shout out to Dream Chasers. Because she watched our whole live stream which was like forever. I know she. She's the reason why there was like no zero views on. Yeah, that. you were the reason why there was comments on yeah, it. Yeah, that you kept that thing alive. So thank you for watching the whole thing. I appreciate that. Yes, and your kids you. really are so cute. They are like for real. <laughs> I wasn't just saying that. It was an overload. <laughs> yeah, her kids are so cute. Uh, we'll definitely watch any of your live streams if you do any. Yeah, we should do a live stream. Yeah. Oh, because we've been saying we should collab. That would be fun. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh, that face, though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what are we to talking the about? fourth season. Walking Dead, what are you talking about? Oh, we so if you watched yesterday's vlog, we said that today we would talk about how we felt about the show. So we gave our predictions. And then today we were going to talk about what happened and the show in general. It was explosive. <laughs> <laughs> it was a great finale for the fourth season. Um, a lot of things happened. A lot of things were reconciled. Uh, answers to certain questions. And, and another nice cliffhanger leaving you with wanting more. We were half right and half wrong about mm -hmm. our predictions. Which was good because, I mean, neither we didn't want Rick to die. Right. So, so it was good that he didn't die and that they did keep him alive. The whole show, though, I think we were kind of just waiting for it to happen. I know. I was like, How's, what's going to happen? What's going to 
because you know now these main characters they just can't die easily you know they yeah, have to have exactly. a certain right of passage of right. being taken out and we did say that terminus was going to be bad but i think everybody who was watching was like had a real uneasy feeling yeah about that it wasn't going to be good like no one just sits there and welcomes uh survivors like huh welcome to terminus <laughs> like, that's never a good sign just from the beginning of this season till this person that i saw at the end he's like changed so much that's why i thought i that's why we had or i had said he's gonna die because i'm like he's kind of just been a weak person but whenever he bit that guy's neck <laughs> and then he realized that it like now in this end in this apocalypse world like you have to do what you have to do to survive it was like extremely graphic and everything but i'm like that's ex that was warranted for the situation as a father. Shoot, if a if a bigger dude got to you, claw, you know, you do whatever the heck you got to do to get out there. Like you go down fighting, and <laughs> that's what he did. So you know, yeah, I, I don't even see it as like a oh my gosh moment. You know, no, was, it was justified. Like yeah, that was said. yeah, that was a man put in an extraordinary situation, and he did exactly what he needed to do to get out. When he was because he was like farming, right? Yeah. When he was like doing the, the farming, season. in yeah, in the previous seasons. It was like him trying to make this world like his old world. He was trying to still keep it normal and sane and say, look, we're all still civil because we're going to keep peace and do all this thing. Yeah, I feel like him being a farmer was more for his son of getting that next generation of like, look, this is the end of the world, but this doesn't mean it's the end of humanity. Because at the very end, it was almost like he was sort of... Like, he was almost brought back to life. Like, he assumed the leadership role instantly in that train car. He's like, you know, that these people are going to be sorry that they ever messed with us. Of course, he said he, he wanted to say effed with us, but <laughs> he can't. So, but that type of strong feelings. We were saying he's going to be an even stronger leader now because he was who he was at the beginning. Then he went through this kind of weird little moment and everything where he was kind of just not being himself or whatever. And then he had to come back, and he's come to terms with the fact that he's not a monster, but he's not who he was before. Mm -hmm. He's not who he was before the apocalypse, because nobody is, and that's okay. Like, there's new rules in this new world, and that's what they've all come to realize. It's going to be an interesting next season, and, oh, man, I mean, gonna he's awesome. going to... He's, like, he's just that much stronger of a person. Leave us a comment down below and let us know if you watched it and if you agree with us or what you feel like um how you felt about rick biting someone's throat off <laughs> was it justified do you feel and was um, it justified was it gangster um and let us know what you feel like is gonna happen in the next season oh look y'all like my shirt i was wearing it it's about to get magical I was wearing it in our live stream today. Just kidding. <laughs> so we're gonna go ow. That's enough out of you. Oh, you scratched me. I don't have anything to scratch you, you with. You, Josh, how do you manage to scratch me so much? Mm-hmm. You look like your mom. You yeah. are. You look like your mom a lot. Josh looks like his mom. I look like a man. <laughs> well, you look like a man version of your mom, but you still look like your mom. <laughs> <laughs> I hope y'all had a good time on our vlog today. Because we enjoyed ourselves. <laughs> I hope it uh, made you laugh, so that way you'll like, and then you can share. Hmm. Sorry, my nose is itchy. <laughs> <laughs> For all those new subscribers, welcome. What? Everybody seemed to like your nipples. Um, I think that <laughs> that sounded weird. <laughs> All right. Well, good night, and we'll see ya tomorrow. Mariana. Good night. Good night. Good. <laughs> He's thrusting his throat. Oh my God! You're so. You're so weird. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh my goodness. Out of all.